Do you want early access? Do you want uncut reactions? If so, then check out our Patreon. Link in the description down below. There's a lot of pieces that move or that are moving here. You know, Geralt and Siri. Basically, him talking Siri out of becoming a Witcher. Thank God. Also, with the help of uh, Triss as well. Triss helped with that. Well, she only helped until she got terrified of her and made her feel worse about it. Probably. That's the other thing too. Yeah. Triss, I think, is still mentally scarred from the whole thing that happened at the previous bat at like the the previous big battle. If she scares you that much, if you're like, you're going to be the end of everything and no one can stop it, you're literally a mage and she's right in front of you and you're alone in a room and she's a little girl and she has a little bit of combat training, but you could literally like fucking eviscerate her right there. And sure, Geralt's probably going to kill you, but you might have prevented the apocalypse if that what you think is true is true. <laughs> like, I don't know. Maybe it's just not in her to eviscerate a girl even if she's going to be the apocalypse. But. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. I'm just thinking about all the things that's happened with Siri so far. You know, losing her family. And then now there's this, where basically she's being revealed, it's being revealed to her that she is literally a, a, a cataclysmic kind of character. You know? Mm-hmm. She could basically bring cataclysm upon the world, which would... That'd be very interesting, to say the least. I guess uh, we'll just have to see how that plays out. And then, of course, there's Jessicaire and uh, Yennefer, who are basically, um, you know... Uh, they're trying to help... Well, he she's trying to help him out, and vice versa. Even though she just disappeared into the witch's cabin... Again, if she makes a deal, like it looks like she's going to make a deal with, with her in order to get her powers back, and also it looks like she's going to use Siri or you know basically like I want Siri, bring her to me. Yeah, I'm guessing she wants to use Siri for ill. I guess we'll just have to see. But let's go ahead and get this up on screen, and uh, let's have at it. Where are we even going? At least you came when we were safe. The trail of grasses isn't safe. I do understand. What's up there? I'll try and draw it out first. Draw what out? It's some kind of Chernobog. Oh, I don't know what that is, but let me Stay help. Stay here. Wasn't Chernobog what the thing from Fantasia was called? Mm, I think, maybe. I don't know. Geralt! Geralt, get back here! Siri, go! Run! Run! Whatever's running through that girl's veins, whatever we made from it, it's more dangerous than we know. Someone. What is it? It's here. What's happened? Who's here? Surprise. He's fair, he's easy, he's pure. How quaint. fuck was the point of showing up just to attack both of those and then leaving? Oh no. Damn. Enjoy your last walk across the meadow and through the mist. Well, I remember hearing that there have been multiple Multiple roaches, roaches so. yes, there have been. Oh, and here we go. Game mode. Oh. 
beautiful. I did that spell over and over for years. <clears throat> till my father caught me. That's when he tried to lead the village in a crusade against me. Gage held him down while I slit his throat. I think he looked cooler with the beard. Yeah. It is time to return to the real reason that we took Sintra in the first place. The girl was last seen in Sodom, I'm told. I had that feeling again. The pull. I don't think it wanted to hurt me. I'm hoping we'll find our answers there. Pessimist sent me here when I was about your age. So we would just learn to do science. Where is she taking that? Don't worry, we're safe. There's no fighting here, no politics. The temple is known for its neutrality. I have missed you. I have missed you too, Nanika. I think we can, at the very least, start to guide you in the art of controlling your chaos. Like the daughter of chaos. What did you hear that? The questions you are asking require knowledge that's been lost to time. Are you sure you're ready? Whatever gave me this chaos, hiding from it won't fix it. I don't see any side upon which you are not entirely fucked. <laughs> She's a princess. Kingdoms will want her for her status. Nilfgaard already does. If she has elder blood. She's a fucking tinderbox. By all means, go on. Find what is missing in the girl. Then, maybe, you stand a chance of helping her. Ah, uh, you wanted the... You're sure it contains her blood? We arranged for you to bring me the girl. You fucked that up. Perhaps the terms of our deal can be updated. What do you want? To meet your employer. Better to be at the right hand of the devil than in his path. I'll see what I can do. You'll need a crew. I know some particularly savage brothers. That fluffy bastard. There's a good kitty. It's a good kitty. Meow. Yo! Oh. You're lucky the trap's broken. So this is Hen, Gedemdius, Elves, and Humans. All copies were thought lost. We have a great number of lost works of literature and text here. Yeah, that's one reason why our services come at a premium. Tell me, are you acting on behalf of Stragabor? Don't lie to me. No, I'm not. How do you know who I am? We know lots of things. But this is fair. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Fen. The cat says Marimba. <laughs> what kind of information are you looking for? Well, I need to know what a witcher, a monolith, and a mysterious girl have to do with Nilfgaard. The girl is Cyrilla of Sintra. And how do you know that? <laughs> like I told you, we know lots of things. What does it do exactly? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, well, well, that's a tool for mages. I don't want to brag, but my tool is bigger and much more powerful. Knowledge, uh, like this book, it, it, it's about all sorts of amazing things. Like, um, did you know that some aniromancers can relive past events just by looking at a painting? They are little, sorry. Um, you Big old tool almost broke my toe. <laughs> Thank you for walking me in. Oh shit. Now it's interesting. Yes. Fuck. It'd be funny if she runs into girl. She's be with you in a minute, Siri. You say that, and... Oh. <laughs> Good timing, Nick. Good, great timing. How is this possible? I don't care. <laughs> 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 kind of like how I would feel, too. <laughs> See, like... Carol, do you know what to do with this? Sorry. Siri. Sorry. This is my... <laughs> dear friend. You're Yennefer. And you must be his... Child surprise. Surprise. 
a sword like this. Yes, that is. Huh? Yes, that is. So, when they come with an attack! Ha! Perhaps a proper demonstration would help your ward. No, you don't have to fight him, darling. We're not fighting. We're all on the same side. Is he gonna brutalize him? You fight like fair! Impossible! Your kind killed them all. Fernando! Hmm. The baby! It's early! They all fight like that because they've never fought a human really battle before. Yeah. yeah. I mean, really, like, his insult was uncalled for, but what he was doing was showing him what it would be like if someone was actually trying to kill him, so it's not a bad lesson. It's really. not a bad lesson, it's just, like, his way of teaching it is not the yeah, best. Yeah, yeah, basically. Because, these, again, these are elves who have never fought this way. Mm -hmm. But at least he just pushed him down. He's like, you gotta yes. do better than that, like, you know, but in a at really, least. really dick way. Big time. Of course they do. I used to own a stuffed one until it broke. Under mysterious circumstances. How did you get your hands on one? Good sir. I'm a beacon of purity. Oh, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Oh, There you go, there you go, there you go. Please. Just be patient. Come on. Spit it up, there you go. Oh, magic, magic, magic. What? No magic. But just warmth. Just warmth. That's the thing about the elves. They haven't been able to, like, their elf hasn't been born. A new elf was born this night. Yeah! <laughs> No, you're out roaming my halls unsupervised. Does he need to know? Do welcome late stragglers who seek refuge. And sometimes I, I like them to remember those I've lost. You can help? Of course. The road. From outside. Only a hundred more candles to go in that direction. Mm -hmm. I feel like by the time you lit all of the candles, the first ones would be burned thing? down to nothing. What happens when the elves decide they can repopulate on their own without Nilfgaard's help? I hope I'm wrong. The White Flame wrote you. How soon shall we expect him? Any day now. First your power, then your freedom. I ran into Yaskia in Oxenfurt. He was in some trouble. This firefucker was after him, a mage, I don't know who he was. He was looking for information about you. Your heart has been beating fast this whole time. You're nervous. Why are you here? I have some wounds that refuse to do. I need to find Siri. The elves built a weapon. Perivin means weapon. Mm. But this is Prethen, which is more like Drethen. It's a mistranslation. The elves didn't build a weapon. They built a warrior. She is the reason they came to Sintra. The reason for all of this. I know because I helped Siri escape. So he's communicating with, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. You're all right. What happened? What happened? You all right? Who did this? Oh. Oh, shit. Find Geralt. Hello, Siri. Have you met the Michelet brothers? <laughs> Shithead. Firefucker. Unfortunately, yes. Take Siri. I'll find you afterwards. All right. <clears throat>
supposed to be a neutral place where they were safe and he doesn't have his swords on. Oh! Doran drew her last breath, crying, Know this. My curse will hound your descendants unto the tenth generation. Then my vengeance will be born again. What? Calamphy hid her elven bloodline because she knew what lurked in it. A generational weapon. Triss. What are you doing here? I know for a fact, a drop of her blood could change the world. In the wrong hands, she will destroy it. I mean, maybe just me, but the first three-fourths of this episode, my least favorite episode so far. Mm. It was slow as shit, and it didn't feel like anything was really happening a lot. Like Again, the, the pacing I do feel was... It was Lacking. off compared to the rest of the series. For so sure. far, yeah. Um, and like it sucks that Roach. Sad. It sucks that Roach died. Yeah, like I mean, the Chernobog part was okay. Yes. And it sucks about Roach. And then when they first showed up to, um, I forgot what they called the place and who the lady's name was. Oh. But, like that was kind of neat. And then everything else in between, like. I mean, the the elven baby being born, like, it seemed just drawn out, and, you know, this is probably an unpopular opinion, this is just a thing I feel, but, like, things like actually showing, like, a childbirth happening on, in, in like, movies and shit and stuff like that, it's like, I don't personally feel like it's good storytelling. It's like, yes, childbirth happens. We know it's like, you know, a rough fucking thing for the lady that has to go through it and everything. But if you've seen it once, you know what it is. And you can fill in the gaps without it needing to be shown to you. Well, they didn't really show it. It's not like it's not like knocked up where you saw yeah, the like, bo- where you saw the baby crowning. The woman like sakes. screaming in the bed and everything and all that stuff. It always just feels like it's like yes, I get the point. She's having the baby now. You could have literally skipped to her coming out and having the baby with her. Mm, I think the main thing is where this is the first elven baby born in literally centuries. It doesn't increase the impact for me. Like it, they could have started that scene with like them panicking, like. It's like the baby's here, but she's not breathing. She's not breathing. Like, you know, they could have started the scene there. It would have had the same impact. Well, again, maybe unpopular opinion. That's just what I feel. Well, the whole thing for me is show. Don't tell. I mean, that to me, that is the more like, like the the best thing to do. And my whole thing with like the boring parts of this episode was just them talking about stuff and not really showing much. And the truth is, like, again, show, don't tell. You know, you don't have to over-explain it, in which, you know, they didn't... They didn't. I feel like they didn't over-explain the whole situation. I mean, literally, they gave, like, the most vital information that they could with the birth of the baby was that, you know, basically, like, 
like patted the baby on the back. It coughed up and basically it started breathing properly. And then, you know, they were confused. Like, what did you do? Black magic? What? And it's like, no, just warmth. That's all. And for them, that's a foreign concept because, again, they've never had to raise a baby before. I mean, I'm just interested to see what my YouTube edit for this episode will look like because, well, again, it'll probably be paced pretty decent compared it, to it'll how probably the be paced a shit ton better than, is like. Yeah, it'll probably be paced a shit um, ton better than the than this because I'm I'm obviously leaving, I don't we don't need like. Did you have any reaction while she was screaming? Did I have any reaction while she was screaming, giving birth? Like, no, not really. And that's because it's not that important. Like, or otherwise, like, <clears throat> there would have been a reaction to it, you know? Like, like I mean, if you're going to be showing that, like, like American Horror Story or something like that, like, I, the, the childbirth in that was a little more impactful because... They had the fucking spirits coming out of the woodwork to assist in the childbirth. Like, you know, like basically the delivery of the Antichrist and everything. And like there it made a lot of sense to me, like to actually have the screaming and the childbirth scene like going on because that was like a special, special situation. Like, but I mean here, like, you know, I'm probably going to end up cutting straight to like you know, it's like the baby's coming early and then cut. And then it's like the next time I show it, it's going to be Frangilla being like, you did it. Like, and then like, she's not breathing. She's not breathing. Oh, she's fine. It's like, you know, like that's how the ad is going to go for YouTube because that's all you really need for that. In my personal opinion. Uh, well, I mean, that's how you feel about it. Truth is, I don't know me. I, I thought that again, the pacing in this very slow, I Up think, until the last fourth of the episode. The last fourth of the yes. episode got really good. Last fourth of the episode where, you know, firefucker. Uh, yeah, there was just a lot of talking about things that almost sort of felt a little bit redundant to me in this. Um, I kind of liked the way that she was reading the scroll at the end while they were researching and stuff. Like I like I thought their shop was interesting. Your shop was is it even a shop? Oh, that was great. Like, yeah. Also, the like cat. those parts were really interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Like that was good, slow talking parts that didn't feel like they were being redundant and like there were some things being opened up. Um, like they it, they were still phrasing something we kind of already knew, but they were phrasing it in a different way that still gave extra clues about what's going on with it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So and then like you get. Like, Frangilla just talking to Elf Lady and stuff, and it's just like, yeah, when I was little, I learned to bring flowers back to life, and it's like, I, that, that's like a, that's like a, they showed it, and then they told it, like, you know what I mean? Like you said, show, don't tell. Again, like, like I said, there's things in this that, you yeah. know, it was, like you were saying, redundant, like me, like, I'm like, it doesn't need to happen like that, show, don't tell. Yeah, so I mean, like, just overall, I think like the beginning of this episode was probably one of the weaker parts of the series I've seen so far. But the end of the episode, and certain parts in between, like certain there's small a good parts, episode. We're, de- we're definitely good. Well, there's a good episode in this somewhere. It's just it needs to be. Yeah, there's just you need to cut. There the was cruft. a lot of fluff around it. It felt like. Yeah, they need to cut the cruft, yeah. trim the fat, if you will. Yeah. Well, there's too much uh, crust left on the sandwich that someone ordered without the crust. Like, oh God, it's just like, <laughs> in, instead it's like the that sandwich that's made out of literally like the two end pieces that are literally nothing but crust from the loaf of bread. Yeah, it's like they they took the end pieces and they made the sandwich and they're like, oh, we're it without the crust, and so they're like, all right, so they cut the edges off and just put it together, and then they realize in the middle of the sandwich is like all crust. And they're just, Son yeah. of a bitch! Like, Jesus. <laughs> It's like, it's almost a good sandwich, but what the fuck? Yeah, <laughs> almost. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, I'm sorry, the comment section, if you guys don't agree with me, like, that's my hot take. It's your, it's your feelings on it, dude. That's it's how you like, feel. Uh, I, I still didn't, it, it's not like it ruins the show for me or anything, obviously, so no one need to get super uppity about it if you thought differently. If you thought differently, let me know. Maybe you don't agree with me and you thought this was a great episode all the way through. Fair enough. Let me know what you think. All right, well, I think that's going to do it. So, uh, everyone out there, thank you all very much for tuning in. And, uh, yeah, I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you, everybody. Peace.